Welcome everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install and use Oracle's Development Day image for VirtualBox. If you don't know what Oracle VM VirtualBox is, it's a software that allows you to run another operating system inside your own operating system. Take it as using Linux in a Windows machine like I have here, or as the Development Day is. So. Let's begin. Oracle VM VirtualBox you can get out on the site. If you Google VirtualBox, it will take you to that. I'll put a link in the description. And let's get this on the road. So this is your pro your software, and what we will want to do is use file, import appliance. This will search for. A very specific file, the OVF or OVA, depending on what you get, and we'll go and find it. Let's go to E C F A C for Oracle Development Day. This is what I, where I have it installed. This will differ for everyone. So, this is a four gig, four and a quarter, whatever you want to call it gig file. You you can get this off the Oracle website and I'll put the link for the site in the description below. I will not put the link to the file directly because well you won't like that. You would say viruses or something else. Take it. You will have to have an account on that site. It's not hard to make an account but it does screw up. Screw up. So, make an account there, get this file, and do this. Open, use next. Wait a moment, and here you go. Let's see if I can make this one bigger. So, you get this, the name, the product. The name can be edited, so you get... So it gets saved here with another name. I already have Oracle Developer Days. This you can ignore. CPU, how many cores you want to add to this. I only I have one. RAM. It's ideally to add it around one or two gigs. I'll use this for testing purposes. I already have it set up, I'll show you that setup. Floppy you won't need. DVD you will need. Better to have it. Network adapter. Let's see if I can edit it. Let, let it like this. I'll show you how to configure it further. Hard disk. And here's the tricky part. If you have low space on C, like I do, you can save these somewhere else. Give it a... You have to write the place you want to save it. So get these two away from C because they will go around 15 to 20 gigs. I'm not joking. It's gonna do that. So once you get this covered, hit import and you'll have to wait a few minutes because it imports hard. So we'll hit the import and wait for it. I'll use cancel. And then you go here and use settings. You'll get this depending on what name you put it. I have also so good. It doesn't matter. System. You would ha want to have these settings and the RAM. The RAM is set to 2 gigs for me, so 2 gigs is a minimum. Let's put it like that. Processor. This is my settings. Have this selected. Acceleration. Have those. These selected. Alright? Display. You would like to have more than 12 megabytes. It defaults to 12. I give it 64 because if you don't, it will run very hard and you won't be able to do anything in it. And finally network. I have it on bridge adapter on my adapter that goes to the router then goes to the internet. Why you would want to do this is because you mostly want to access the database from your computer not have this thing that eats 2 gigs running all the time. It doesn't eat 2 gigs all the time but take it from me you don't want that running at full. It's 
risky, you will have problems with your computer. Alright, I'll hit cancel again and let's get this start. I'll show you how to access it from another computer. Let that boot up. You mostly won't need to do anything in this. Let it boot up on its own and that's just about it. I'll return after this boots up. Alright. The thing to notice, do not hit show details. Because if you do that, you will get this. And it will seem to be frozen. It's not a problem if this happens. Just wait it out a few minutes and it will get to the login screen. I'll return when it goes there. So, here we have it, all loaded up. That took around 10 minutes, give or take. Don't really know why. I think it's because of my version of VM Virtual Box. So, the username and password is Oracle, if I remember it correctly. Yes, Oracle, Oracle. Username and password. And it loads up, and you get this screen. You might want to memorize this. This is your IP. This is how you will connect to the virtual box from away, outside of this. You don't want to be inside this at all times. So, this is your IP, and you want to do this to test it if it works. SQL Developer, double click, let it load up. Right, it loaded up kind of fast. <laughs> no, I don't want to you to show me this all the time. So, you do this. New database connection. Okay, and give the connection a name. Lol, let's see. And the user is HR, and the password is Oracle. Save the password. Host name. It's localhost. In here, it's localhost at least. And this, the SID, you want to set it as Oracle. Oracle. O R C L, not Oracle as in this. <laughs> it's O R C L. Test the connection. It should return fine. I'll check my data if it doesn't. Look. Success. Save the connection. And you're ready to go. And I already have a connection. This one. Double click. Wait for it. And you get your tables. This is all my tables. I'll hide that back. So, how do you connect to this from outside? Well, you do this. You close it up, but do not power off or send the shutdown signal. Use this, save machine state. Press OK. Wait for it a bit. It didn't disappear, I just minimized it. And it disappeared. Alright. You wanna do this. Hold the shift key and press start while having it selected. Wait for it restoring. And you have the screen here. We're on it. Alright. What this does is uh, it doesn't um, show you the interface. Which saves up a lot of RAM. You want it to be in a background as a service. If I close it up. There's nothing here, nothing on my taskbar, I have nothing. So, how do you connect to it, you may ask? Well, not that. Let's go to E, C, F, A, C, 4, B, D, A, SQL Developer. You might want to get SQL Developer from somewhere. I think you can find it for Windows on the Oracle website. I have it from school, so let's just hit I will fi try to put a link in the description, but I can guarantee it. And you're here. And the same. New database connection. Same things except this. This is your IP, which in my case was 192.168.1.5. You can see Oracle ORCL test, success, and connect. I won't connect with this, I'll use my connection again. Double click, tables, 
and we have all the tables. It differs uh, from the other one because it's a newer version in, in that package. It's a uh, let's test it out. Select all from Carty, and you get nothing because I don't have anything in this uh, what you call table. But as you can see, he got the columns, and this would be populated. So, I hope that helped you a lot, answered some of your questions, and I'll see you next time in my other series or videos. Please comment, rate, and even subscribe.